Okay, so the next lesson we're going to do is on percentages, and we're going to start off by finding the VAT on something you want to buy from the shops. So we go to the shops, and we find out and what we want to buy is £80. We need to calculate the VAT on that. Now, VAT is 17.5%. Bit of a tricky one, how do we find 17.5% of 80? Well, 17 and a half is just made up of 10, plus 5, plus 2.5. So, if we can find 10%, 5%, and 2.5% of 80, we can find out 17.5%. So what's 10% of 80? 10% of 80 is easy, it's just 80 divided by 10. So 10% just equals 80 divided by 10, which is 8. Okay? 5%, well 5% is just half of 10%. So 5% just equals 8 divided by 2, which is 4. And two and a half percent. Which again, just half of five percent. So we just have four divided by two, which equals two. So we just need to add these up. Ten plus five plus two point five, seventeen and a half. So we just add them all together, and we find that the total is fourteen pounds. So now what we do to find eighty pounds plus that, we do eighty. Plus 14 just gives us this 94 pounds. It's that straightforward. Okay, now let's look at another example. Okay, let's look at another question on percentages now. So we're looking to buy a TV, and we've already seen it in two shops. We've seen it in one shop and it's on sale for £235 with 20% off. Okay, so it's pretty good. We've seen it in another shop at £230, this time with £40 off. We need to work out which one is actually cheaper. So, let's start with this one. So we need to find out 20% of 235. Again, the easiest way to do this is going to be for us to find 10% first and times it by 2. Because 20% is just double whatever 10% would be. So what's 10%? Well, that's just that divided by 10. So we just put that's one point back. So it's just 23. 50. Okay, so what's 20% is just going to be that times 2, so it's going to be 4, 7. Okay, it's going to be 47 pounds. So we need to do to work out how much it would actually cost us, we need to do 235 minus 47, which is going to be cool. Well, we'll take it off there, we've got. That's going to leave us with eight. If we pop that up, take five off there, and it's going to leave us with another eight. And it's going to leave us with a one. So it's going to be 188 pounds. Okay, what about the £230 TV. Okay, £230 TV, you're just saving £40 on. So 38 minus 40. So that's actually going to give a cost £190. So we found the first one is actually the cheapest one. Okay, we'll do one more question like this and you can have a practice. This one's a bit more tricky. So this time we go into a shop and a really nice jacket that we want is on sale for £160. 
that's in the sale. That's already had 20% off. Okay, so what was the original price? What was the original price of the jacket? So, we need to think about this. We can't just take 20% of 160 because we need to know the original price. Okay, if 20% has already been taken off, we've had 100%, whatever the original was before, minus 20%, that's what's happened already. So, which has left us with 80%. Okay, so that 160 represents 80%. Okay, so let's think about it. 160 equals 80%. And we need to find 100%. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's find 10% again. So this time 10% is going to be 160 by 10%. So this time it's going to equal 160 divided by 8. Okay? Which is going to give us 20. Now we need to find 100. So we need to do 10 times 10. It's 100%. So we just need to do 10%, which is 20, times by 10, it will give us 200 pounds, which was the original price of the jacket. It's that simple. We'll do one more example of these. We, this time, are going to buy TV again. Okay, and this time, TV is on sale at £195. Okay, but that's had 15% off. So we had the price reduced by 15%. So we need to work out what percent this actually corresponds to. So 100 minus 15 equals 85. Okay, so that's 85%. So that is 85%. So a bit more tricky this time. We've got 195 equals 85%. So we need to get this down. What we need to do is probably find 1%. Okay? So we need to do 195 divided by 85. Okay? You can't do this on your calculator, or you can do it by long division as well, but probably easier to do it on your calculator. If you're in your calculator, you'll find that 195 divided by 85 equals 2.29. Okay? So that's. 1%. Now, we need to get to 100%, so you just do 2.29 times 100. So this, let's remember that this is 1%. 2.29 times by 100 gives us 100%. So the original cost was £2. £29. And it's that simple. Okay, uh, have a go through the questions now. There are calculator and non calculator. Uh, questions to practice and then we'll move on to the next section.